Hey guys, Mixed Media Girl here. In this video, I'm going to be doing a resin pour on a vase through a strainer. This was suggested to me by somebody on Facebook and I thought it was a great idea and would be a lot of fun. I'm using Mixed Media Girl Artist Resin and I started off with a coat of clear resin on the vase and that's just gonna help the resin flow better once I start pouring it through the strainer. I have my vase upside down on a cup and I have that in a silicone tray mold to catch the runoff so that I can do a two for one project. Now I was going for basically purple and silver on this one. I'm using Illumilite resin dyes and polycolor mica powders, starting off with the white Illumilite resin dye and then a blue mica powder and a purple mica powder. Now I didn't actually have silver, so I kind of made my own with some black Illumilite resin dye and then some silver glitter. And that actually unfortunately didn't work out very well. It made it more of a gray than silver. It was pretty dark and the glitter was unfortunately too chunky for the strainer. So it actually kind of ended up clogging it up. I poured my colors um, through the strainer until I was basically happy with the design, but because of that glitter clogging up the strainer, it got a little difficult near the end and I had to lift up the strainer a couple times to help the resin flow through and that definitely affected the design. So I think I will try this one more time just without that glitter so that I can truly see how that design would look because as you can see here, when I'm lifting it up, it definitely changes it. Overall though, still a really cool project. I know it still gave me a different pattern than I would have had otherwise. So I'm still pretty happy that I did it. And I know some of you, some of you are probably going to ask, but how do you clean the strainer afterwards? You can just clean it with some isopropyl alcohol and use it again. I let the resin drip down the vase for probably about five minutes or so. I think it looks awesome. And then I lifted it up with the cup and moved it off and I put it into a coaster mold to catch the rest of the runoff so that I could have yet another project. I then tilted the tray mold until it was completely covered on the bottom. And another important note, I'm not filling in the tray completely at this point. I do it in two parts. So the trays may be only halfway filled at this point. And another question I often get is, couldn't you just put a board or something under there and tilt it just like you do a canvas? You absolutely can, but I just prefer to do it this way. And that's just personal preference. Once I was happy with my design, I added in the handles. These are just metal drawer pulls from Amazon and make sure they're straight, make sure they're lined up, equal distance from the sides, and then let this cure. Once that's cured, go in and put in your top layer of resin. I just used clear in this case, but you can always add some color or some glitter or something like that to this if you'd like. Use a stick as necessary to help get that fully, fully filled in. And at this point you want it completely filled. Let that layer cure and then you are done. So here's how the vase and tray look complete. And I think they are just gorgeous. I leave the drips on top of the vase. For me, it's part of the design and that's how I like it. But feel free to sand them off if you are not a fan. Totally up to you. So I really hope that you guys enjoyed this project. Thank you so, so much for watching and I'll see you all next time.